Hi, it's Kip K for Make Magazine, and I'm standing outside of Tropicana Field here in St. Petersburg, Florida, getting ready to go inside and watch Game 1 of the Major League Baseball American League Division Series. And I'm also going to be showing off the world's first LED fan sign. But first, let's make it on today's weekend project. first step is to pick up some sticker paper that you can print through your inkjet or laser printer. And then I loaded Photoshop and designed the letters that I wanted to use in my sign. I also took small dots where I wanted the LEDs to go and placed those on the image. I thought the dots would give the letters more of a Broadway look. I printed each letter on a single sheet of sticker paper and then painstakingly and carefully cut out each letter. I used a hole punch for where each LED would go on the letters. Then laying out the 3 16th inch foam core and using a ruler, I centered up the letters of where they would go on the foam core. Peel open the sticker paper and lay out the letters on your foam core. I discovered the best and easiest way to make holes in foam core was to use my soldering iron. It made a perfectly clean hole and it was the exact size of a 5 millimeter LED. And it's time for those LEDs as one will go in each hole in every letter of your sign. Now this is probably the most time consuming part of the project as each negative connection of the LEDs need to be connected together. And then a 330 ohm resistor needs to be attached to each positive end of the LEDs. Then all those positive ends of the LEDs need to be connected together. Join the positive and negative ends of each letter together as you want those grouped. Even though the LEDs fit nice and snug in the holes, I thought it would be a good idea to use a little hot glue in a few of the LEDs for each letter just to make sure everything stayed in place. Now I wanted each word to flash separately, so a flashing circuit was built based on this schematic and hot glued in place on the foam core. Using some one inch rubber stoppers, I hot glued those to the base of the foam core and then used a couple of pieces of foam core to cover everything up and also a place for the on off switch. And the LED fan sign is ready to go. Since no one had ever seen a fan sign like this before, security gave me a little bit of a hard time. For something sharp, it's down be, here. Get what's, it, down what's it powered by? Batteries? Couple Two 9-volt batteries. But they eventually let me in. Everyone that saw the LED fan sign loved it, and a lot of people actually wanted to buy it from me. I had friends call me who said they could see it from across the stadium. And that's how to make the ultimate LED fan sign.